Year. What's going on, everybody? It's our pod, King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. This is a message to anyone out there that has an electronic device. May it be a cell phone, an iPod, an iPad, a Kindle Fire, a MacBook, a Windows PC, a Windows 8 tablet. It doesn't matter. If you have an electronic device, this is a message to you. Now, the message is, get up on that Sports Games and Music podcast. I ain't going to keep telling you guys every week to get up on that. And what I want you to do is go inside the description. I don't care if you're on a cell phone. If you're on a cell phone, hit the back button, scroll down, look inside the description and click some of these links. The first link I want you to click is to iTunes. Now, our podcast officially goes to iTunes either live every Friday night or every Saturday afternoon. And this is why. We want you guys to leave us a review, subscribe to the podcast. It's not hard. And this is why. All you got to do is go into iTunes and search SGM. If you didn't click the link inside the description, just go to iTunes, check us out, listen to a couple of our podcasts. Now, we're not saying that you guys have to sit there for the whole hour and some change just to listen to a podcast. You can do something productive. You can get in your car, go do what you want to do. You can go to the gym, run a few laps, you know, pump a little bit of iron and still listen to the podcast. It's not hard. We are mobile. Now, for all you people that's on Androids and all of those type phones, we got something for you guys too. It's something called Stitcher Radio. Now, we are officially on Stitcher Radio as well. You can go on there, search SGM, you can subscribe, you can follow, do anything you need to do to get in tune with this podcast. Now, another thing, for everybody that's on computers that either don't have iTunes or don't feel like the hassle, we have a website as well. The link is in the description. The website is called podomatic.com slash SGM or SGM podcast. You guys can always go to the website, listen in. This podcast is totally free. We're not telling you you got to pay for it or not like that. We do this podcast for you guys. We talk about sports, we talk about games, and we definitely talk about music. So what I want you guys to do is right now drop everything you're doing and go catch up. Go get in tune. Get familiar. Because me and my boy up for discussion. We do this just about every week. And we want you guys to know that, you know, we have topics, we have things that we like to talk about, and we're not scared to voice our opinions, man. We even have a voicemail. The number is in the description as well. Go ahead and leave us a voicemail. Um, Tell us what you think about it. Tell us if you like it. But right here, I'm going to drop everything. I'm going to get up out of here. I've done enough promoting, but I'm going to leave you guys a nice little snippet from our last week's podcast and this is on music man some of the things that people do to get ahead in the music game is outrageous but this is IKC signing out and I thank you guys for supporting me and all my friends and all my homies throughout everything we do I'm out of here peace you we back it's time for the music segment guys um we have went over sports we have went over games and it's time to go over that goddamn took the shocker song hey <laughs> hey Jay, that's, what we, that's what we doing jay you trolling me now <laughs> hey man like we talked about this we're gonna play a little segment of the show where we let them hear a track that's new whether it be hot or whether it be not, you know, that's up for them and us to decide. So uh, I, I think I kind of understand where you're going with that track. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, my man, how, how, after all these years in the music game, how I don't know how to catch a beat yet? <laughs> like, how, like, yo, the, all right, first of all, let's, let's break this song down. Let's do that. My man had three verses total on this song, and I yes. think he had the hook, like, like maybe four times. Mm-hmm. So... The hook, first of all, was ass. I'm gonna yeah. just, I'm gonna just put that out there. He didn't have to like, like, and it was, it's not auto tune, but it's another effect that he put on his voice. And he ain't a problem, problem. Yeah, yeah, he didn't, he didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He could have, he could have went the, the Jay Z and you know what you gonna call it route with money ain't a problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he could have went that tight route, like you know what I'm saying, like we rolling, but he went a whole different way. You know he had a whole other lane, bro. Yeah, yeah. I will say that lane, and it, it got a lot of oncoming traffic. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, the first verse. I was, He's about to swerve into the embankment with that one. <laughs> yo, like, listen, after listening to the verse, first verse, I'm like, all right, he, he's trying. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. one thing I will that's say. Like, that's, the, that's the verse that I played, man, because that was, like, the most solid verse. After that, it just goes downhill, man. Yeah, but what makes it so crazy why in the world do out after all these years we know who no limit is mm-hmm. we know what y'all did for the rap game 
you don't gotta throw in some blims to, you know what I'm saying, talk about what y'all did back in the day. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> we know what y'all did. It's time to move on. Like, everybody know who Master P is. Everybody know who New Limit Records is, man. There's no doubt in anyone's mind, you know. But you, you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it different, bro. In the second verse, you ain't catch the beat one time. Like, yeah. I, like, I, 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 and trust me, I only listen to it one time. You only need to, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all you, know, you like need, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then, uh, the, the, the person he had on the song, he was better than Silk the Shocker. Yeah, man. And they didn't get to hear him. So, I mean, like, y'all got to listen to that song. If y'all, if y'all want to go Google this, Silk the Shocker, money ain't a problem. You might want to just skip the three minutes. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cause, Trust me, that song, that song right there, bro. Oh man, he trolled me. So they did this. Not, are you are you saying not? <laughs> we, we we definitely going with a big knot, man. You, <laughs> big knot on his damn head, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Cause you troll you trolled me, man. You just, hey, man, yo, I had to. I, I seen Silk the Shock, and I'm like, oh my goodness, man. Like it was between this and the other track that I wanted to play, man. Which is, I ain't think they wanted to hear no Eric Benet, but you won't believe who Eric Benet got featured on his latest track. Who? Two chains. Shut up. On that Eric Benet song, I bullshit you not. Yo, Eric Benet about to make a comeback then. I know, that's what I'm saying. And th- and this is the thing, Carter. Minus the fact that Two Chains sound like Humpty Dumpty from fucking Digital Underground, the song is dope. Like, I mean, Two Chains actually bring it. Yeah, I'm like, yo, Two Chains did actually kind of rip the Eric Benet song. Yo, like, Two Chains been in the in the in the uh, studio with a lot of big timers, yo. Hey, why not, man? When you charging a hundred k for a feature? Yeah, that that too, that'll do it. But at the same time, he's learning so much. Like, people have to understand that the music game is a learning process. Dudes ain't gonna just be the shit as soon as they come out. You know what I'm saying, besides a few, but you know what I'm saying, like, some people still learn. Like, he's the feature guy now when he did that song um i got a fucking problem with uh kendrick lamar asap rocky and drake he didn't have a verse all he was was on the hook now a lot of people you know criticized him like yo why you ain't give two chains a verse blah 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 that song right there was meant to be lyrical you know what i'm saying to be on that song you had to have a certain flow and two chains don't have that flow. He don't got that flow like Kendrick, Drake, and ASAP Rocky. They flowed on that song. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, give him give him about uh, like six, seven more months, yo. He gonna have a flow to him. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be able to spit different lyrics and stuff and, and learn more and and you know what I'm saying? Pull out a dictionary to actually learn something. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead up. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I'm dead. Up, but come on, so- yo, my favorite, my favorite verse off that new uh, Eric Benet featuring Two Chains is he was like, I used the chopstick on my Benny Hanna Ricin, like <laughs> Two Chains, dog. You thought that was hot, though. You thought it was hot. <laughs> he used the chopsticks on his Benny Hanna Ricin. <laughs> Son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carter said six months. <laughs> It might take him three years. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, ten years, ten years, ten years. I give him ten years. Oh man, yo, two times, man, you gotta love that dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, let's let's hop into the music, man. Let's hop into this, man. I, I'm gonna need you to take over this topic right here, man. Hey, yo, how many of y'all have heard of a thing called the Illuminati? Oh, you you've heard about it? You've heard about it, huh? Well, as you know, some people say such and such is an Illuminati. He's in the Illuminati. She's in the Illuminati. Whatever. Have you ever heard of somebody killing to be in the Illuminati? Well, that's exactly what an aspiring rapper thought that he had to do. You know, he like, listen, you know, I'm out here, I'm putting music out and I ain't getting that recognition. You know, I feel like I could get it popping if, if I was in the Illuminati. So. You know, what his solution was to go get a gun and sacrifice one of his friends. Like, literally, this dude attempted to kill his friend in a sacrifice to the Illuminati, supposedly. This young man is a Virginia rapper, age 27. I'm not even going to say his name. We're just going to say he has a name on him. And... He was obsessed with 50 Cent's career, and he decided that, you know, he wants to get the fame. He wants... All of the all of the glitz and the glamour that comes with being a successful rapper. And in his mind, the way to go about getting that is not working harder, 
not you know honing your craft but picking up a gun and shooting a friend in the head killing them as a sacrifice to become famous well he's definitely known i mean we're talking about him now but luckily his friend did not die the young man was able to deflect the bullet even though some of those fragments from his skull and his skin went into his eye Thankfully, he's still alive. And now the person that shot him, you know, this aspiring rapper is now on trial. They denied his bond. And yeah, man, he's likely going to be going away on an attempted murder charge, man. And Carter, do you think the Illuminati is going to get him off? Nah, bro. First of all, <laughs> let me let me let me open your minds real quick. <laughs> this is Reverend King Carter going at you right now. now <laughs> In the book of Ezekiel, and t- like, nah, all right, listen, y'all. you are a fool for that. <laughs> nah, let's listen. All right, first of all, I'm gonna try to say his name. I'm gonna try to pronounce it. This man named, it, uh, from what I'm reading, it say Wafik Sabir El Amin. How in the hell you gonna get into Illuminati with that name, bro? How you how you think you gonna get into Illuminati with that name? I mean, as soon as soon as a nigga read a name off a paper like that, what's the first thing that come to your mind? Damn, that nigga gonna run a plane in the towers. Like that's the first thing you think. So you and plus you you uh, you coming out of VA, bro? You probably from the hood. hood. What Illum- Who in the Illuminati do you know? All right, you might you might you know walk down the street and see like a old a Oldsmobile with one of them Illuminati stickers or something on the back of the. Don't believe that hype. Don't don't they made all the cars like My that man back in the day. Illuminati sticker. Yeah, yo, real rap. Um, you ever seen like the uh the G with like the uh the the like the I don't know if it's like two uh not I'm not trying to say hooks, but like it. I, I'll try to Google it later for you, but like it's a certain sign that say that some of those guys are members of the Illuminati. Are you you're not talking about the Mason sign? Are you? I think I don't I don't know if it's the Mason sign or something, but some of them guys say that that's. One of those type signs. I, look, I, ain't, I don't get into that. I don't that. know, man. You know, I don't know nothing about I, nothing. Listen, I don't, I don't <laughs> get into that. Hey, I ain't the Illuminati. All right, nah, first of all, man. let's I, let's I get that out the way. About that. But um, all I think is this is crazy, though, man. Yeah, you got to tell me this is the craziest thing that you we. I think this might be the craziest thing we ever presented on this show, man. Yeah, yeah. This is OD. Is this what it's coming to? Like, think about it, Carter. You know, people do some crazy stuff for fame. I hope the new thing that's hot in the street is not killing and sacrificing people to become famous. I mean, like, dog, we do not need a, a murder rise out here, man. Attempted murder rise. We don't need that. Like, I just. It's bad understand. enough when you go on Instagram and you see everybody with their ass and titties out, man. I mean, everybody want to be famous, man. I don't know. For what? Man, for, for what? For, for a person to say, yo, man, last week I woke up and my man was standing over me with a gun in my face. How do you present that to people? You know what I'm saying? They, like, they said the bullet literally ricocheted off his hand, sending bone and skin fragments into his eye, and he was able to wrestle the gun away and shoot the ball in his stomach and, and, and got away, scot free. Thank, thank, yo, thank the Lord for that's that. A, like, that's a blessing right there, man. Like, yo, if everybody ain't never believed in the most high, like, I, that would, that would make you rethink whatever you thought, you know, previously, dog. Because I don't know too many people that would, you know, wake up at the right time and still have a, enough energy, enough strength to deflect the bullet, get shot, wrestle a gun away from another individual that should already be in a, a position as, you know, in power over you and then shoot that individual and get away. Like, Yo, and what makes it so is crazy? That is truly a blessing, bro. Like the boy El Amin, like he don't have no prior criminal record, right? But they charging him with malicious wounding, use of a firearm, and the commission of a felony, possession of marijuana, and possession with intent to distribute marijuana. Like so, they like, yeah, we gonna hold up, the- though. Hold up, where is the attempted murder charge at? It's that's what I'm saying. That they, they just they where just- is that? I mean, come on, son. They said he he said supposedly before he shot him you are my sacrifice and he's aiming at his head i mean like to me one plus one equals two that dude was attempting to murder that individual well i think that's i think that's the charge of use of a firearm in the commission of a felony i guess that that they just don't probably want to put attempted murder because they probably don't know too much and they don't want to have their facts wrong okay that's probably probably what it is i mean it 
it, it sounds like attempted murder to you, right? I mean, yeah, it, yeah, it's that, not just me, right? Yeah, that sounds like attempted murder to me. If, if a nigga got a gun in my head, that's attempted murder from the rap. If he shoot me, yeah. that's murder. <laughs> like, yeah, that's it's like, come on, son. But, so, I, I know that was heavy, y'all, but, you know, we're going we gonna to lighten it up, man. But, uh, I heard somebody was twerking, Carter. Twerk team MC, twerk team MC, twerk team, hashtag wow, twerk wow, team. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Yo, Molly. Hey, Molly. Who's bopping that wop? <laughs> hey, Molly. How you doing? Hey, Molly. How you doing? How you, how you been? You chilling? I just wanted to say hi and shit. I heard you of age and shit. What's going on? <laughs> nah, man. Real shit, though. Uh, let's talk about Molly Cyrus.